Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are going to do a rotating structure. So right now on my screen you see a disk which is rotating. This will be a fun video where uh, you can model a disk and you can model a rotation. So there are the learning point of view, uh, there are a lot of learning out of this. This particular tutorial we have made to touch base with a constraint. So how you can give a rotation to a disc or gear or turbine blade, compressor blade or automotive wheel. There are so many rotating structures but how to generate that kinematic constraint or coupling. Uh, this is something like a, a real joint what we have modeled. So you have a constraint, you define proper constraint and you give a proper rotation and then you can see a rotating structure. So this is exactly what we are going to do it. So you see the structure is getting rotated and the stresses is generated. This is just some random number we have taken but we will just model this. So let's quickly get to uh, basics. Uh, again this is uh, we are not trying to solve any problem. So this is our first lesson is introduction to constraint and specific to in constraint we are going to look for a specifically we are going to look at a kinematic coupling so this is a kinematic coupling so what what we are going to do we'll have something like a fly wheel so this is like a, a d1 is 100 millimeter and then d outer is something like a 500 millimeter and we'll put this this coupling with ref respect to a center point and then outside and uh, this particular things will do in a constant so we'll give in constant we'll give a coupling we'll give control point slave type we'll first start with a kinematic coupling later on we'll look into other things so we'll couple all degree of freedom and then in boundary condition we'll give a rotation so this rotation we are going to give in uh, 0.1 second so this is we're going to solve in dynamic explicit so this is almost like a 10 rotation in 0.1 seconds so something like 100 rps so this is too high too high for something like a steel structure but this is fun video so the main focus is get get your constant right so learn about coupling so you can handle with uh, gear rotation or rotating shaft turbine those things you can do it for that we are going to mainly do this so uh, let's quickly uh, start the modeling this so let me open abaca ca so let me also put proper directory so let me set my working directory i already set the working directory so we'll quickly create a part so this is nothing but a disk this is mainly we are taking a dimension similar like a flywheel but you can have your own dimension so i'll put 0 comma 0 comma 0 so i got a center 50 comma 0 so i got one point and then 250 comma 0 so i got a three point on a x axis so 0 comma 0 then i have 50 comma 0 and 250 comma 0 so we'll quickly draw uh, this so this is one then i'll pick up center point and then i'll pick up 250 done depth will have 25 so we created the depth so we just quickly create a disk we're going to have steel property linear elastic property will have we need to put a density because we are going to solve this in dynamic explicit. Uh, if time permit will show how to do this in even Abaca standard also, then you don't require density. Then 210 e power 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 is a Poisson's ratio. So this is we are done. Then we'll quickly create homogeneous solid structure. Then we'll just assign that to disk. So we decided uh, 
assign the property will create a assembly quickly assembly we created the assembly now we'll create a step mainly we'll say rotation and this will be dynamic explicit we are going to run with 0.1 second then we'll go to the interaction now this is this is important things what we have to do so before that uh, this is the important learning so before that i'll first uh, go to the part and i'll just create one reference point so you go to the part command you go to the tool you go to a reference point and then i want a reference point somewhere between these two so it is like x0 y0 and if i do a 12.5 i can get into center so let's see where i got it so i i got a right reference point so now before going to uh, this coupling definition i'll just create a set because this coupling will be with reference point and this inner inner surface so to easy for picking up uh, we'll just have a surface generated here i'll say slave you select enter inside surface and then then you create one more is re sorry reference point and then you select that reference point so you done that now you go to this uh, constant manager create you give whatever name you want your different constant we are going to do rotational joint so we'll focus on coupling coupling will say we'll select the constant control point go to the set and select the the reference point in the center and the surface you select the slave surface and you say a constant degree of freedom so you are going to couple kinematic coupling with this point with all degree of freedom your different uh, option like um, you can specific point adjust the point lie on the surface there are different things you can explore if you want and we are done that so if you done that then it will show that you see this is what kind of coupling constant we have put uh, we'll have load which is going to we are going to just, just put a rotation and we'll select that and then put all constraint and then we'll put this as a 10 pi 31.4 we need to create a amplitude so time is equal to 0 amplitude is 0 and time is equal to 0 0.1 amplitude is 1 so we are going to get the speed from 0 to 1 this angular uh, rotation of uh, 100 rps in this 0 0.1 second so that's we are given now other important thing is how this rotation it is going to taken so I'll just go back and show you how it takes so how the rotation this positive rotation is going to take so you take your right hand right hand rule so you take a right hand put thumb your thumb parallel to z axis in the center and rotate your forefinger around your thumb so that is a positive rotation so in this case the positive rotation is this one so once you put positive it is going to rotate about this like this so this is a positive rotation if you put negative then it will rotate about this this is a about a right hand thumb rule which abagas use meshing again i i does i don't want to do very fine mesh and this is a quick one so I'll suggest for your problem you go for a fine mesh but uh, we are going to use a coarse mesh for this problem because we need our main intention is to show you the coupling coupling uh, how to do a coupling so I'm going to put something like a 10 so still it is very fine so let me put something like a 15 
15 is okay for me because I want to do a quickly problem jobs then create jobs and then we'll say rotation we put a data check let's see if there is any error in preprocessor related we'll quickly check it and then then we'll if nothing is there then we'll submit the run so there is no issue with this so let's submit the run and then submit the run and then just wait for the results so so run got over so let's let's look into the results so this is your rotating structure so start rotating and then you can look into stress plot whatever you want this is again the fictitious number we have just put a very high speed for this this if you put this high speed for steel it's going to fail so something like a plastic you take a take a polycarbonate uh, rotating disc you can you can so this was a quick video on how to give rotation again this will be useful for you if you want to do uh, rail and wheel problem rail wheel with rail so bottom rail and then wheel and then you can give rotation and you also give sliding motion front sliding motion and then you can model this so this is a quick video on coupling constraint and I, I, I hope this video will be helpful for you to learn in terms of abacus thanks a lot for listening to me and if you like this video don't forget to like us and subscribe us thank you bye bye